Chris Bang Bang! So in this video, I'm reorganizing my Chan collection. <laughs> um, it's a good amount. I think that's why I've been putting it off this past few months, I'd say. So I used to have all of my Chan album slash non-album and like concert and event um, cards in one binder. This was my previous Chan binder. It's the 25R Luca Lab composition binder. And yeah, I've been using this for the past mm, couple months or so. But then I realized how much my collection is actually growing. I also noticed that everything in there was like out of place and I just did not like how it was set up. So I decided to split up my Chan collection into two different binders. So one binder will be for just the album pops or the pre-order benefits. And then the other binder will be for non-album concerts, events, um, collabs, all of those other cards. I have my two binders here and then I have all my PCs. I went through all of them last night and I re-sleeved all of them and kind of put them in the correct order based on the template that I have which I'll show in a bit. Hopefully this video isn't too long but knowing me I think it will be. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into sorting. So I'm gonna start by reorganizing my album pops. This is going to be my binder. I'll leave links to these binders down below as well. Here's the front cover. And when you open it, I think this took me probably like an hour, two hours, maybe. I, I feel like I was just very indecisive. And I also wanted to like make sure I wasn't gonna mess it up. Yes, this is my favorite binder deco ever so far just because I really like how these binders look. I think these are called like the diary planner binders but I've also seen them called as like macaron binders. And then in here I already have the um, photo card inserts. These I got off of Amazon and I'll link those down below as well if I can find the same ones or similar. So this is the template that I'm going to be following. So what I already did is, these are big templates. So the ones that are completely whited out are ones that I am not collecting. Um, so there's like a few store pops and album PCs that I just don't feel like collecting. And then the ones that are shaded are the ones that I already have. And then the ones unshaded are my top priority ones and the ones that I still plan to collect. So for the pops that I am still looking to collect, the ones that I'm still prioritizing, I've made binder inserts just so that I can actually keep track of the ones that I need to look for. And since it's like a relatively small amount, I didn't mind making photo card inserts. As per my last video, <laughs> I said I couldn't be more bothered <laughs> to make binder inserts and I also just wanted to make space for them in my binder already so that I wouldn't have to reorganize. Also a side note, so I mentioned that these binders are only going to be for album pops, pre-order benefits, and then um, other non-album cards. So all of his album photo cards are actually in another binder that stores all of my bias line album photo cards. So that's Chan, Felix, and Jungin. So the first four are going to be these PCs. I am you Taiwan, Yellowwood Taiwan. And this is one of the Levanter Soundwave gotchas. I honestly so can't believe I have this. Honestly, very lucky. <laughs> and it's wishful thinking that I'm gonna be putting this binder insert in because you know, it's an older card and <laughs> this is already hard enough to find, but you know, I can dream. Hey, that's the first page. And now we are moving on to Go Live, which I only have one of at the moment. This is With Fans Round 2. So I have binder inserts for With Fans Round 1. Sub K and Tokopedia. And again, these are <laughs> very hard to find, but I will get them one day. I will. Now, next page. Now, for in life, thankfully, I have 12 
even pobs so it can fit evenly into three so the first four are going to be the with drama pcs the limited and the standard and then apple music and Soundwave. and the next four are going to be both sub k's this is the sub k vc and then the sub k regular pop and this is mmt and messima shop fun fact actually this was my first ever chan pop and now that i think about it it's very crazy because i know how much these pcs are sought after and considering that I got it like around the time when I first began collecting is very much a lucky chance. Yeah, I started collecting in 2021, in like July 2021. So I'm really, really surprised and proud of my collection. And for the last page, these are going to be the with fans pcs and then the soundwave gotcha magnet so actually i didn't know this one existed <laughs> it was that bad i didn't even know this existed until one of my friends pointed it out to me and i was like oh well if i don't see it then it does not exist and i really put it on like the back burner of my mind because i just knew how hard it was to get to look for and i didn't even like make it a priority to get until i saw someone put it up for sale on instagram and the speed in which i messaged oh my god yeah so that's round one this is round two and another fun fact wow i just have a lot of fun facts about in life era pcs i bought this pc at least three times yeah i think it was either three three to four times the first time i thought it got lost in the mail because i bought it worldwide and it was like two months have passed and i still didn't get it so i was like well this is lost so i gave up and then i joined a go claiming this i guess i just forgot that i was in the go so i thought i wasn't getting it so i was on the lookout for it again and i saw that someone was selling like their chan pop collection and i hosted a go for it and i claimed this and then the first one that i originally bought suddenly came in the mail suddenly popped up and then my go claim arrived and then the set arrived and then i was like you know what <laughs> this is just how you know i had or i still have collecting anxiety kind of <laughs> and that is all of in life side note i love strawberry chan i will forever call him my strawberry chan because i just i love the red hair i don't care what anyone else says i don't care if anyone calls him angry bird <laughs> It was really cute, okay? I really liked it. Moving on. Now is No Easy. I didn't realize how much there is <laughs> for No Easy. So there are 17 pops, or I have 17 pops, and that's an even number. So there's gonna be one page that only has two PCs, and then one page that has three. Before in my past Chan Binder, I had PCs like on the back, and I like seeing the backs of the cards <laughs> so i'm not gonna do that this time i'm not gonna put pcs on the back yeah they're just gonna be uneven for the first page we have these four shoppy soundwave and then sub k vc and then regular sub k the infamous red lights <laughs> there's one page and for the next one it's gonna be make star apple music aladdin and with drama next page so the next one is gonna be the two pcs by itself <laughs> um it's gonna be mmt messima pro okay and then the next is gonna be the three pcs and these are the with fans this is round one Round two and round three. And then the last page is gonna be the lucky draws. This is the domino lucky draw, the view lucky draw, red lights lucky draw, and the wolfgang lucky draw. These ones have to be my favorite. I don't have to explain why. <laughs> 
Fun fact about this lucky draw, this was actually the PC that I brought to my Maniac concert and it was hooked onto my bag in a photo card holder and the PC holder like broke off my bag and it was on the floor the entire time and I didn't notice until like the concert ended and then the person sitting next to me picked it up and said oh is this yours and I was like oh my god <laughs> imagine that person didn't see it thank you to that person that found <laughs> my lucky draw for me <laughs> so that is no easy done so now for Christmas evil I actually wasn't planning on collecting christmas evil because christmas evil came out around the time when i just came back from a hiatus from my instagram i wasn't really looking for the pubs at the moment and then i realized how good the pubs were <laughs> um, specifically two of the stores that i don't have which i'll be using binder fillers for so the first one that i have is aladdin and then for the rest of the three are going to be binder fillers. So it's going to be Hot Tracks, Interpark, and Soundwave. Hot Tracks and Interpark are probably my biggest priorities for Christmas Evil. But then again, these are the hard ones. And for the next page, I have Music Plant, a binder filler for Yes24, which is like the concept version of this PC and then sub k regular pub and then the sub k vc okay that page is done and for the next one it's gonna be two pcs again it's gonna be with drama and then the sound wave lucky draw um we're gonna backtrack silly little me forgot about Yellowwood MMT. Um, A few moments later. Now I'm conflicted. <laughs> Should I really keep the gotcha? Because honestly, what are the chances of me finding it? But then what are the chances of me finding MMT? <laughs> These are real conversations that I have with myself. Like on the daily, it's a bit worrying. You know what? For now, I'm just going to put this on top. <laughs> And we'll just see whichever comes my way first. We'll just see. And then we'll deal with that later. Now we are left with the last bulk of album pops. This would have been a thicker pile if I included Maxident. But as per my last video, I have a full Maxident binder for my bias line because I collected all of their pop for that comeback. So it's in a separate binder. And then I'm also doing, again, the same thing with Five Star. His album pops will not be in this binder. So yeah, this binder is specifically just for older eras until the sound. Now for Ordinary, this is going to be a weird situation again where there's going to be, I think, two pages that have three PCs rather than four. And I also tried to color coordinate them. So the PCs for this one are going to be Music Plant. I think I like literally passed out when I saw this preview because first of all the glitter was very pretty and also look at him he insane so <laughs> music plant interpark sound wave sayonara so the next page is going to be all coralline chan pcs <laughs> He really pulled off the Coraline look. Make Star with Drama and K-Town for you. The next page is going to be these three. Apple Music, Hot Tracks, and Aladdin. And the next page with three PCs are going to be the Sub-K Regular Pub, the Sub-K VC, and the Target pub. I think I said something about it in the last video. Yeah, they learned their lesson though from Ordinary. The Maxident and the Five Star pubs from Target were really good. Okay, second to last page is going to be these PCs with fans round one and round two, MMT and the Soundwave Lucky Draw. Freeze Chan though? My goodness, Frisian is definitely a look. <laughs> and finally, the last page for Ordinary are the Lucky Draws, Venom, and then Lonely Street.
And for the final page are the sound hubs or these are the offline PCs, the ones from the concerts. Do not ask me which days are which. I do not remember. I always mix them up. And as you can see, I have a problem because there's five. This is the lucky draw, I believe. Yes, the lucky draw. So maybe he'll just be by himself here. <laughs> Oh, I actually also have the last day, the most recent offline Japan PC coming too. I don't know when that's coming though, <laughs> but I know it's on the way. It should be on the way. That will be who Lucky Draw Chan will be with. Okay, so that was the last page of all of the album pubs. We'll now do a final flip through of the album pub binder. <laughs> okay, so the album pops are done. Now we will move on to the non-album binder. Now it is time for the non-album cards. I actually just finished decorating this binder a couple hours ago because I didn't really have stickers, deco stickers that were like this color. So I kind of just worked with what I had. Obviously in my POBS binder, <laughs> I definitely have a good amount of pink stickers. So that was easier to decorate. This is how I decorated this binder. And honestly, it turned out really cute. I really like it. Here's a close up of the binder. So, for this binder, again, the same thing where the PCs or the cards that I already have are already shaded. And the ones unshaded, I did not make any binder fillers for this binder just because I'm not heavily prioritizing them as much as I am with the album pops. Yeah, so this is like the first half of the template and then the second half and this template also is not updated but i will be including like some of the newer ones in here that aren't on the template and i also do want to point out there's some non-album items that are supposed to be in this binder but a lot of them are actually displayed on my shelves and like on my desk and just around my room in general most of those aren't going to be in here but i do have a good chunk of items that are going in here so mainly like the very few printed polas that i do have are displayed and also the very few like broadcasts that i do have those are all displayed so those will not be shown in here so here i already have one page that has um like bigger inclusions here i have the nacific four cut and then i also have <laughs> um my Chan signed ordinary postcard in here but I have these two pocket sleeves and these are for these bigger inclusions so this is Chan's first gen pola this is one of the unveil in Japan PCs I also was not planning on collecting any of these but then I saw it and I just got it on an impulse <laughs> so that's why on my template I literally only have that one <laughs> shaded because I'm not gonna collect the rest I don't think <laughs> I say that now but then knowing me I'm very impulsive um let me not manifest that actually <laughs> and that way so the first page is going to be the district 9 merch polas i believe these are merch polas next page is going to be stay in london this is the pc and then the pola and then i think these are going to be two by itself so the next page is going to be the stay in playground cards and there's five and there's just one polo by itself i think i'm just going to put it on the back of one of these even though i do not like doing that there's that page and then this one 
Next is the first fan meeting. So the Skizx polas and the Skizoo polas. So this will be one page and then this will be one page as well. Fun fact about these polas, I held my first ever group order with these polas. So next pages are gonna be for unlock go live in life. So these two will go together along with these two. So these four and then these three will get their own page. Those pages are done. Silly me actually mixed up the dates for the first fan meeting and unlock go live in life. So I'm just doing a little switch. <laughs> That's better. I forgot I had these. <laughs> these are the Skiz 2021 season's greetings and these should be going before the first fan meeting. So let me do that as well because apparently i cannot tell time so they are now in the right place again <laughs> okay now after fan meeting is cleo and these will be in one page as well cleo's done okay now i can tell the time with all of these <laughs> next we have the is chocolate factory polas i have one pola missing i'm missing the other checkered pola so these are all just going to go in with the one page and next are second gen photo cards so next up are the victory pop-up polas and again there's an uneven amount of these <laughs> there is five but what i'm gonna do is since after these are gonna be the maniac merch polas i'm just gonna put the left over in one page by itself because all the pages are gonna connect either way somehow so i'm just gonna put the first four of the pop-up polas yeah these definitely have to be my favorite merch polas so far however the third fan meeting got announced and we will wait to see if those polas can beat these <laughs> okay that page is done and then in this page i'm just gonna put one of each and the next page is going to be these polas with the white background is going to be all of these polos with the black background and i also just forgot that i had this pull this came with one of the lucky draw events for maniac so i'm gonna put it in this slot perfect there you go now it's even <laughs> okay now these are the jyp green project pcs and then this is the furu pc like the crane pcs from japan yeah so i'm gonna put these three together i also i think this is just like the regular pc set and i don't have the pop they honestly all look the same <laughs> like literally it's the same thing it's just all peace signs not even a smile Ugh, it's okay <laughs> Then we have the DeFesta Daikon photo cards. Now I have the 2023 season's greetings. So these are the regular PCs and then the pre-order polas. And then we have um, Skiz Replay and 3rd Gen. I will put these by themselves. 
cheek poke chat <laughs> now it is time for the stay and stay photo book these are the two main pcs but then i also have the um jyp edm card and i think i'm just gonna put these together just because you know it happened around the same time basically so <laughs> it's okay <laughs> Now for the rest of the stay and stay pops. So these two, literally the difference is the peace sign, like one's up, one's down. <laughs> Another peace sign here. <sighs> peace sign, peace sign, cheek poke. Hey, at least we got a cheek poke, you know? This is actually one of my favorite looks though on Chen, like favorite. So yeah, these three will get a page. Okay, stay and stay is done. Now for the last chunk of cards, it's just going to be Nasific and Mahagrid. So again, these are going to be put in chronological order. So the first four PCs are these four. Second page has these four. And of course, the last few, there's five. <laughs> so I'll just put the one in the back. That's Nasific done. And finally, the last page are the Mahagrid PCs. Round one, round two, round three, round four. I think out of all of their product collabs, Mahagrid is the only one that's influenced me <laughs> to actually buy something because I do like their clothing. Um, I wanted to try like Nasific skincare, but I just haven't gotten around to trying it. But if you have tried it and it is pretty good, let me know. Finally, the last page is done. So now we will do the final run through. We have the bigger inclusions. And that is the binder. If you stick around for the whole video, thank you. Um, I hope that was interesting to watch. It was also kind of just therapeutic for me to do as well, to just reorganize everything because I've been needing to reorganize my Chan collection because I feel like all of them together were just suffering in that one binder. I'm glad I finally had the time to separate them. They are now in their new homes. As always, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions about where I get any of like my supplies, other than like the binders and the pages that I'll link below, let me know. I'll try my best to answer any questions you might have, even if it comes to photo cards or collecting or anything like that. And I hope you enjoyed me kind of going off tangents. <laughs> Bye.